Well, welcome everybody to week three of our January online program for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And this month we've been talking about the spiritual bypass. That's a term that uh, a psychiatrist by the name of Whitfield gave to the, uh, the concept in recovery of moving from misery and suffering and just sort of jumping over all of the nasty stuff and into serenity and peace of spirituality. The bypass part is we're going to bypass all that nasty, uncomfortable work of working through depression, anger, anything that we're afraid of. So we can just forget about all that nasty stuff and go right for the good stuff. And people do this. I see it not all the time, but there are quite a few clients who are, yeah, they, I mean, they could just come from some horrifying lifestyle, come into the center, and within a week or two, all of a sudden there's a smile on their face and everything's okay, because they found spirituality. That's a spiritual bypass. And one of the ways of getting some insight into this and why it's so powerful for people in recovery is that it's actually kind of similar to being intoxicated. We've talked in the online program before about the uh, great uh, philosopher and psychologist William James and his belief that getting drunk was, as he put it, a variety of religious experience. And we've talked in the online program before about the great Carl Jung, the Swiss psychiatrist, who would treat one of the founding members, uh, actually treated several of them, of Alcoholics Anonymous, fellow by the name of Roland H. And in that famous letter to Bill Wilson, the driving force behind AA, would talk about alcohol uh, uh, as, a, uh, as satisfying the thirst for spirituality. And of course, Eugene O'Neill, the great Nobel Prize winning uh, addict uh, uh, who wrote plays about uh, addiction. And he would describe getting drunk as a very spiritual experience and where he felt a sense of belonging in the universe. That he could somehow connect with nature and with the moon and the stars, with the sea, particularly the sea. And so there is this element that when we use drugs that they do fill the void, but everybody agrees that it's not really real, right? It's a counterfeit transcendence. It's not really the real thing, but at least it gives you that feeling, like as Eugene O'Neill said, uh, in one of his plays, he said, I learned early in life that living frightened me when I was sober, so I didn't get drunk, and now I'm not frightened, I feel more at ease, I feel comfortable in the world, I, find, I feel this connection with nature, with other people, and this sort of spiritual experience that Eugene O'Neill says that he got from drinking alcohol. But it's a counterfeit, and the spiritual bypass in many ways is a counterfeit spirituality because it really isn't addressing reality itself, right? Because I'm not sure that you can just overcome sadness and guilt and anger and depression and anxiety in such a simple way. Because reality has a, a way of like creeping up. Uh, some of the clients here, part of their aftercare, they say, well, I plan to go back home and, you know, with my uh, loving partner, my kids around there with their smiling faces and not to burst their bubble or anything. We point out well, what happens if the kids aren't all that smiling and actually don't want you around because they're teenagers. And what happens if you have a big blowout with your lover? Now what are you going to do? Oh, well, that won't happen, right? Because we'll talk through it and we'll get everything. Well, I don't know. That's asking an awful lot of human nature. Everybody that I know personally at some point had big blowouts and I got this from my son, right? This gray hair that maybe it won't be all that nice and sweet and bed of roses kind of lifestyle, right? It's just these little dips. Ah, maybe some days it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty bad. At any rate, uh, perhaps giving you this sense of the why the spiritual bypass is, is dangerous is that Many people consider it a counterfeit kind of transcendence. So this is a good thing to, to think about and, and to be conscious of in your recovery. At any rate, uh, we'll be back next week uh, with the last in our series of our uh, January online program.